People, my people, it's that time of the week where we go and visit our dear Uncle Odin. And Uncle Odin is doing the second of <clears throat> three gins from Bancroft Distillery. And today I believe he's drinking Chinaman's Creek, an Asian inspired gin that's got chili in it. Let's go and jump to the old man and see what he's got to say when we knock on his door. Oh, he's there. <laughs> it's my people, my people. How are you today? By God, it's brisk outside, isn't it? I've just been reading a book on spices. And not only am I reading a book on spices, I'm actually drinking spices. This is a, a spicy gin from Bancroft to Surrey. Uncle Craig, you may remember. It's called Chinaman's Creek Gin. It's Asian inspired. Now, Chinaman's Creek is not Uncle Craig being naughty. It's only, Chinaman's Creek is actually a place out near Mitung where this wonderful gin comes from. I'll pour myself a little bit more because it really is a bitterly cold day in Melbourne. Let me put the glass down. Now, I happen to do a little bit of research on this gin and we'll hear the sound of happiness. It's a gentle sound of happiness. Now I'm going to drink this gin wonderfully neat. Oh, just a little bit. Uncle Craig only unfortunately gave me a small bottle on this one because I think that were you to get your hand on this, you would be wanting at least two or three large ones on this. So this is an Asian inspired gin. So it's similar to Boat Rocker's Jungle Gin. Oh, the smell of happiness. Oh, oh this takes me back to eating Tom Yum in Surat Dani in Thailand back when I, this was brunette a long time ago. Oh, the smell of happiness is just divine. Uncle Craig, you've gotten the smell of happiness. Smack on the nail, you hit it like with a sledgehammer. Now let's go for the taste of happiness. Oh yeah, this is, I can't make up my mind whether it's the poor boar salad, some tum, I'm drinking, or I'm eat, eating uh, Tom Yum, the spi spicy sour fiery soup from down southern Thailand down near the Malaysian border, or I'm having a wonderfully kaffir lime full curry laksa from Singapore. Oh. This gin has chili in it. It's got black pepper in it. It's got cardamom in it. And it's got chili in it. And the chili really does work in this gin. It works extremely well. I had a South African gin a couple of years back. And the chili just didn't work. It just overpowered it. But the chili in this gin really fits in very well. So the, the taste of happiness is, Uncle Craig, you're getting this one dead right. This is just, just amazing. I mean, and look at the bottle, the bottle is so straightforward. It allows the gin to speak for itself. And I think I've more likely put a nice, nope, that way. Put a nice little label up there the entire time. Oh, it's a full gin, it's 40%. Oh, 42, I lie, I take 2% off it. I don't think that we should take anything away from this gin. Uncle Craig told me that I should drink this with uh, Fever Tree Mediterranean Tonic to more likely bring out the citrus flavours. Personally, I would sip this neat with a nice, yeah, nice curry, like, nice, nice tom yum, tom yum gung, which is the um, hot sour prawn soup. Gung is um, prawn in Thai. Um, tom yum is just hot sour. Um, so I would pour a large measure of this out on a cold winter's day and it would warm me in places I really did need to be warming and I think this is just divine so, and we've only got one last gin after this from Uncle Craig that'll be appearing next week 
So Chin Chin with this Jin Jin, and I hope you've been paying attention to the numbers that are appearing. Well, somewhere around here. Magic numbers, I keep on looking around. So thank you for watching and visiting me, people and my people. I always love it when you show up for a visit. Uh, now I'm just going to go off and enjoy this magical gin from Bancroft Distillery. The same people who bought you Shaving Point Gin last week. Oh, oh Craig, you've done it again.